love is indeed a beautiful thing. Finding love is the best thing in life. The beautiful story of Olawale Lankwejo and Akdekwejo Amodeni, who tied the marital knots on March 21st, 2020, says it all. Adekwejo, lately it appears to me that life is rushing by and there are certain feelings of my heart that I can't always satisfy. Those priceless little gifts of time I can always share. Life has cherished touches that are written down in ace. The tender thrill of not being there with you can never be replaced. And even though I can't always be with you for certain special days, I want you to know that you fill my heart and occupy my thoughts a million ways. I hope we'll be together forever. And I hope that we make heaven together with our children. I love you. These lovebirds began three years ago when they met at a friend's place. Today, their story of pure love has been officially stamped with marital ties. In tying the marital knots, the couple gathered families and friends together in the morning of that same day at the Prayer Center Church of God, Idori Road, Akure, for the solemnization of holy matrimony. With the arrival of the groom in good time, the bride in flowing wedding gown was led into the church by her father. The scripture reading and exhortation was done quickly, without wasting time also. The charges were made and the declarations were done, and the couple exchanged their marital vows as conducted by Pastor Taiwo Akpanushile. With the Bible, they were joined together as man and wife. In celebrating their new home, the choristers of the church sang delightfully a special anthem. While declaring marriage as an establishment of God, Prophet Samson Oluwamodede gave the couple tits bits for a successful marital life. This lady decided, so today, I've been seeing her very well, look at her again, go to the Lord. This lady said, God called her your techniques. This year, not a slave. So look at the lady, this one God has established. I am the Lord of God. A broad heart of God. Now fully educated on the way to go in their marital journey, the couple with their parents and other witnesses proceeded to sign the marriage register. <laughs> These ultimately a rather series of jigs from everyone as they dance forward to celebrate with them in Thanksgiving. The 
marriage certificate was presented to the couple in full glare of everyone. The service came to a gradual close with a closing hymn and then the recessional hymn. The wedding ceremony continued at the St. Thomas Church Event Center on Doe Road, Akura, with a colorful reception. The superfluous decorated interior of the center was attractive. <laughs> Guests indeed had pleasurable times as they ate to their field the delicious meals that were in abundance. <laughs> Raising the bar of these beautiful moments was when the Say Me Well band began thrilling guests to good music. It was the vibes of this band that the parents of the bride danced to to take their place at the top table. Ushering in the couple, it was the sweet mixes of the danceable songs from the stable of DJ Becky that the couple and their train danced to. When the dancers mellowed down, they cut their lovely cake. The best man, Tony Buraimo, did a lovely toast to the wonderful beginning of the new home. The groom then displayed his dancing skills as he did mesmerizing twirls and turns with his mother. The daughter father dance, however, attracted guests to the dance floor as everyone felicitated with them. <laughs> This was understandably so, as the father of the bride, Prince Sholagbade Amodeni, is a man of many paths. Prince Amodeni is deeply rooted in politics. This has seen him traversing various political parties and holding various public offices at different times. Amodeni's political sojourn has spanned almost three decades now. From being an executive chairman of Akoko Southeast Local Government Area of Undo State 20 years ago, under the Alliance for Democracy, Amodeni later became the Commissioner for Natural Resources under the administration of Dr. Olusha Gumimiko. 
Prince Amodeni was also the commissioner for adult, technical, and vocational education. He had a stint in the current administration of Arakuni Oluwarote Miyakewedulu as the commissioner for physical planning and urban development. It was therefore no surprise that VIPs from various political parties turned out in their numbers to honor him on his daughter's day of glory. <laughs> From there, it was dance, dance, and dance. Has everyone joined the couple on the dance floor, wiggling to the refreshing music of the semi well life band? <laughs> Red Carpet TV spoke with the couple, their parents, and some guests. They are Christian, they should keep the fire burning, and they should work very hard. And they should not see lying as a way of life as most Nigerians see. They should be steadfast, consistent in character. I wish them well. I wish them well. Uh, they used to say something in Ijebu. I've been met some, I've been that the wife will burn nine and have the third one as any. So we are expecting football team in our family. Omo okay or no? Omo if I need a year ago, Bobo mono madata go makun. Omo atani rojo, ki Bobo wo 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 e maba go ole. Omo ba, Omo akwesi ola, Bobo wo, Omo maja. Yeah, patience, patience is key. Patience with the bridegroom and patience with the bride. Definitely, uh, that must be the most crucial aspect. But more importantly, is that you have patience for yourself. My advice to them is to trust God, believing that uh, this union is by God. And uh, my prayer also is that uh, in the next uh, nine months, they will have addition to the family. They should enjoy themselves. Marriage is meant to be enjoyed. They should pray together, eat together, sleep together. I wish them the best of luck. I wish them happy marriage. And I wish them success like their parents have done. That they should try and understand themselves and embrace peace at all times. They should uh, be independent, be their uh, be the best of friends to each other and uh, uh, and devote much time in communicating themselves, can join love, affection, and being open to themselves. I believe that once they do that, then the marriage will endure the test of time and the marriage will be fruitful and the marriage will, uh, will flourish and blossom. Ah, I'm on me for one day. Coffee around one she or con. Come up, fed you around one swan, you can. Here, I will my fair go. Okay, so yeah, I'll be bye bye. Here, come out the fee. A joy, I will soon. Yeah, I'll be bye bye. I'll be all right. Coffee around for the new babble. Come on, my bad. Primarily, he's got fearing, he's hard working, he's loving, he's caring, and he makes me happy. Very caring, she's a strong woman, she supports me. She's like a um, the pole behind my face. This is my everything. From the Red Carpet TV crew, we felicitate with Prince Sholak Bade Amodeni and to the couple, we wish them a blissful marital life. <laughs>